In this short video, I'll be focusing on the skill of photograph interpretation that is required for the Cambridge IGCSE Geography exam. And through this video, I'll be focusing on the theme 2.3, Coasts. So what does this say about photo interpretation? You are required to give simple descriptions of human and physical landscapes and geographical phenomena from the photographs, aerial photographs, satellite images, and GIS. The purpose of this video is really to give you a breakdown of example questions on the theme of coasts. I want you to consider common points. This provides you with common points to consider when looking at a photograph. It will talk you through example exam responses and also give you opportunities to practice these skills. All of the resources that you need can be found in the um, link that's found in the comments of the video description. Now remember, all of these photograph interpretation questions are describe questions. So the number of marks refers to the number of unique observations, features, points that need to be made, that you need to make and discuss. So again, this video helps you to identify as many possible observations that you can make. So typically, the questions start off with you identifying landforms. So if you look here, um, you've got landform W, X, Y, and Z to identify here okay so i'll put those in for you and also which of the uh, three photographs shows a coastline where deposition is the most important feature so we know of all of these top two and the bottom is formed by erosion and so only what landform y so figure 3.2 is formed by deposition so most of the um, most of the coastal photograph interpretation questions do require you to identify landforms and these are the main ones that you need to know you need to know what a cove look, looks like, headlands and bays, wave cut platforms and cliffs, and what the various stages of the erosion of a headland are. As well, you need to identify the various different types of what longshore drift creates. So you've got spit in the top left, top right, that spit is connected to an island, so it's formed a tombolo, and in the bottom, it's blocked some sort of bay or maybe the mouth of a river, so it's formed a bar. And as well, you need to know what a sand dune as well looks like. Here is the first full example of a photograph interpretation question describing the features of each of the coastline that you can see. So how would you approach this? First thing to focus on are the three key areas, the landforms, what the waves are doing, and other forms such as the water, rocks, relief, and vegetation. So let's take you through each of those. And this is something that you could do. So before you answer the question, you've got the insert, annotate around or label around the photograph the, as many different features that you can see based on these three areas. So when it comes to landforms, can you see lines of weakness? Probably, the answer is probably yes. Crack. Can you see a crack, cave, arch, tackle, stump? Can you see a wave cut platform or platforms? Can you see a cut notch, usually found at the base of cliffs? And can you see a cliff? Is there a headland? Is the bay? Is it bay curved? Are there coves? What are the beaches doing? Is the beach curved? Are there sand dunes? So these are the big things that you can start with. Once you've done that, focus on the waves. Are they constructive waves? Are they destructive waves? By that, they're large, generally implies there's a storm. Are the waves forming a curved waved front? So here you can see these top picture, there's a curved wave front. Top ones are constructive waves, they're gentle. And then you've got big, big waves that probably implies they are destructive. And then are the waves breaking across uh, um, on the coastline? Once you've got that, you can look at the water. Is it shallow or deep water? Can you see the bottom or is it dark blue? What are the types of sediment can you see? Is it sand, pebbles, shingle, rocks or boulders? Are there layers of rock? Is the land steep, gentle slopes or flats? And what type of vegetation can you see? Shrubs, grass, bushes or trees? How much of it? So once you've got all of that, you might be asked to look at the human features sometimes. In that case, you can just focus on sea defences, tourism features, various bits and bobs, and other human man-made landforms. So here, the question says bay and headland, so we cannot use them. So for here, I'm gonna go around looking at the various landforms. I can see a beach, I can see some dunes, a steep cliff. As well, the waves are have a curved front. The beach is gently sloping, and there are bushes around. In the bottom image, I can see a wave cut platform. Again, I can see a steep cliff, some layers of rock, rocks and boulders closer to me, and some grass along the cliff. So with all those various things that I've labelled on, when I come to write my answer, I can say there is a wide bay with a gentle sloped beach. On the headland, there is a steep cliff and in the foreground, dunes with grass and bushes on top. 
On the headland, there is a wave cut platform cut into a steep cliff with rock layers. The cliff is covered in grass. In the bay, there are rocks and boulders. So again, I've got those various features. I've put them into nice sentences. And again, I, um, all the marks are there for you to see of how you can answer them. So again, I've gone above and beyond. So using that, here are some practice questions for you. So what I want you to do in this next part is if you think they're really useful, um, I'll go through them as well. So first one is this. You might want to pause the video now and have a go at answering. So please do that. And the second question for you again is here. Describe the physical landscape features shown in the photograph in figure 4.1. So pause the video, have a go, continue the video to see the next, the answers. So here's the answer to the two questions. So pause the video, check your answers. And if you want some other coast questions as well, um, these ones typically about are you require you to identify various um, uh, coastal defences. So you can see here what type of things you need to do. And I've included the answers for you. And you can see them there. And again, another one that's a common question is describe the features shown. And this is the type of thing that you need to write about as well. So I've talked about how you can identify the features shown in um, when it comes to looking at landforms, for example. So you consider the shape, sediment, dimensions and vegetation as well. So if you found this video particularly useful, please do like it. And if you think your uh, friends will find it useful as well, please do subscribe. So remember, guys, as you're watching it, if you come to these questions, recap what the various things that you need to focus on and um, pause the video, have a go and then look at the mark scheme. Thank you for watching.